In October of 2014, on a coolish uh, spring night, I was deeply asleep and into my sleep came a dream and it was a dream of a ship in Antarctica. I've never been to Antarctica and I'd actually never spent time on a ship. But this ship was as clear as the day is long and there was the word homeward bound. There was a film crew behind me and I knew we were making a film that would interrogate the narrative of leadership in our world today. In the room in front of me were some 45 to 50 women, all scientists from around our world. And in the dream, I knew exactly what we were doing. I saw Antarctica through the window, hand on heart. That was the dream. I woke up in the morning and went, that was a really clear dream. And I rang a friend of mine, a young uh, marine biologist, Jessica Melbourne Thomas, Dr. Jess Melbourne Thomas. And I did something that is the transition point from crazy to plausible. I told her the dream and I simply asked her, do you think this is possible? And it said in the change cycle that it is the first follower who makes the mad person seem normal. And Jess said these fated words. She said, yes, I think it's a great idea. Why don't you try writing it down? And that day, very unusual for me, I had a three hour meeting canceled. So I wrote a 10 page paper on the dream, explaining the idea, who should be involved, wonderful people like Sylvia Earle and Jane Goodall, and what we were trying to do with the idea. Within one month, that idea had escalated up the Australian Antarctic Division with everybody saying it was a great idea. The following seven months was a story that changed a life. And in December of 2016, we took our first 75 scientists from around the world, all women, to Antarctica. And uh, in February of 2019, I returned from the third journey. But what it has become is a global leadership initiative designed to challenge the traditional models of leadership that you might see in INSEAD, Harvard or uh, Stanford. It is a 10 month leadership initiative for women and it's designed to elevate our visibility in the world. What it has also become is an extraordinary social experiment in distributed leadership. I've had 35 years of practice. I have worked with countless organisations to transform executive teams, senior teams, middle management and frontline. And for the first time, as leader of the initiative, I got to experiment with taking it live to the world. The learning for myself, what I needed to do differently at the age of 60, 61, 62, 63, has changed my life forever. But what I've learned as a leadership expert, as a specialist, is the way to do this is dramatically different from the way we're leading. And those are the stories I can share with you, give you pragmatic insight on how to do it, key simple methodology for dramatically changing levels of inclusion and trust. I look forward to meeting you.